<laughs> Some people don't even know the reason why Nande Kano. The reason why Nande Kano started this agitation for Biafra. Some don't even know. But let me make it very clear to you once again. Nande Kano started this agitation for Biafra because Nigerian system is meant to punish the indigenous. Nigerian system is nothing but to destroy the people, to punish the people. Look at every policies Nigerian government are dishing out. Look at all their pol uh, policies. All their policies is just to punish the people. See what is trending in Nigeria now, banking system. What has the poor people has to do with this your cashless banking system? Most people suffer and die before you can activate uh, uh, activate a uh, uh, cashless banking system. Or are you doing it because of po uh, po politicians who want to uh, who want to bribe people? Yeah? Because I I I'm just trying to grab all the reason why you guys are punishing people this way like this. This punishment is too much. You are doing cashless cashless uh, Cashless banking system in Nigeria. Online transfer. Everything you have to do, you must do it online. To transfer money online. While some people don't have electricity. Some rural area in Nigeria, there is no single electricity. No pole, no electric, no cable. That cross that city. That, those rural area, no cable of electricity there. No, no Wi-Fi, no internet, no electricity, no SIM card, SIM card, MTN SIM card, and the um, and the Glow SIM card is not even getting signal there. How these people are going to survive? How? Hey, Chinakema. How these people will survive? Who is dishing all these policies in this in this current government? Who is dishing it? Is it a Lai Muhammad dishing all this nonsense out? Go to rural area in Nigeria. Many places, no internet. Take your phone, take your phone, go make a call. No internet, no signal there. How is he going to do transfer? No ATM machine, no bank. Hey, these are the highest punishment somebody can receive on this earth. Some of you are reading Bible and you are, you are still thinking, where is hellfire? Nigeria is that hellfire you see in the Bible. Everything about Nigeria is problem. Banking system, no electricity. Look at a country that doesn't have a steady electricity doing banking, doing a, a, a online transfer system. Some old women don't even know. Have you take time to educate them how to do transfer? Look, go to each bank and now you see the way people queue up, suffering. Even when you get there, the bankers there will be ex extracting money from you. Before you take 10,000 naira, they will take 2,000 naira from you. Before they give you 10,000 naira. And they call this country. Huh? Let me remind you in case if you are still making noise about this here, one nonsense in Nigeria. You remember when Senkad, when uh, uh, this uh, mobile phone we are using now, before it came out, do you know how much people suffered? Other countries, it is not like that. People suffered. People suffered before. The, one cent card was 50,000 naira, 50, naira then. One cent card was 50,000 naira. While Kotonudia, one cent card in their country is that much. How much is suffer? Electricity, you are suffering. Everything about Nigeria, you are suffering. Road, you are suffering. Hospital, the same thing. Everything is problem. And you are, you are still proud of calling yourself a Nigerian. Change that name. Let everybody go their way. Free Mazen Nandekan. Everything Nandekan said about Nigeria is nothing but the truth. Free him. Let him go his way. Free him. You guys, none of you guys are even trying to take correction. To make any amendment that will favor people. From from frying pan, from fire to fry pan, every year, every year, the same story. People are now suffering, searching for money. Many people have money here in their bank. They have money, but to do transfer with their money problem, to cash their money is a problem. People must die for Nigeria to, to become one. Do you know when Nigeria started splitting the blood of innocent people just to keep that 
that nonsense country one. Divide that country. Let everybody go their way. This is not country. Hmm? Go rural area in Nigeria. Rural area. Same card are not working. No signal are there. How are those people are going to survive? How are they going to do transact their business? You brought new currency, new money. It's, bring out the money. Let people have the money and have access to their money and do whatever thing they want to do with their money. What is all this rubbish for? Nigeria, Nigeria, Nigeria. Nigeria for what? Nigeria to kill the people. People have been sitting there before Nigeria came. So Nigeria want to kill all the indigenous people who, who were living there before Nigeria came. What is all this nonsense? And all of you are keeping quiet. You don't know what to do. Protest. Right. Make them shame. Right. Post it all over the world. Let people are seeing it everywhere in social media. If you are in the bank, they are doing all those rubbish. Video it. Forward it to the whole world. Let everybody see what is going on in Nigeria. Because of 2023 election. Now, when I want everybody to die because of you are preventing politicians not to use Nigerian money and bribe people. This is what you guys introduce in Nigeria. Now, everybody is feeling it. You know the feel I'm now? Rigging for election, sharing of money. All of you are involved in sharing money. Today, now, you, you know the system. Now, you are holding money. So that the Tunubu and the Atiku will not share money. While all of you before are the same thing. Crazy people. That you are holding money so that the Tunubu will not... You know, say that one will have money now. So that you no go share. Atiku no go share money. <laughs> when I don't see them, now waiting all of them that they do before. That is the reason why now they cannot say it. Divide Nigeria, let the people think how they are going to live their life. They are here making noise. Very nonsense system. Divide that country. Go find out. Go and find out. This is not a propaganda. Go find out in Nigeria. So many rural areas. Network is not there. No internet. Wifey. Ordinary wifey. Do you know how much I pay for wifey here? I pay wifey here every month to $10. Here in pocket, $10. I can download anything I want. I can use anything. We can be... 100 people are using the same network. No problem. Every month we pay $10. But to go to Nigeria, go and see the way they are punishing people with the internet, Wi-Fi, punishing people there. When you download 20 gigabytes now, MTN, tiai, you download Glow, tiai, under two seconds. That is what they are doing. Why not get the way other people are getting their own Wi-Fi? Let people are having access to internet. Without internet, you cannot transact any business. Cashless uh, banking system. Now they make noise. No electricity. Now just they punish people up and down. Close that uh, that country and uh, and they give us Biafra. Let us go and enjoy our life. Nonsense country.